you're going to learn how to take any coin and then visually vanish it right in front of your spectator's eyes. This is one of the best, most deceptive coin vanishes ever created, and I'm going to teach you how to do it in this video. Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you one of the most amazing ways to vanish a coin in your hands. As you can see, this coin vanish is super visual, it's really deceptive, and it's actually quite easy to learn if you follow the steps that I'm going to lay out for you in this tutorial. So this is called the Retention Coin Vanish, and I've broken it down into three different stages so you can learn how this move actually works. And if you stay until the end, I'm also going to be giving you a practice blueprint so you know what to practice and when to practice so you can learn the Retention Vanish in a matter of minutes, not in days or even weeks. So definitely stick around until the end of the video for that. Anyway, let's go to part one of learning the Retention Vanish. So step one is actually taking the coin. And what I mean by this is you want to know what it'd feel like if you were to actually take a coin, place it in your hand, and then genuinely take it in this hand here. And then what we're gonna be doing when we do the vanish is we're just gonna be mimicking this action, but stealing away the coin. So what I want you to do is go and find the biggest coin you can possibly find. Don't use a tiny coin like a penny or a nickel or whatever currency you're using. The bigger the coin, the easier it will be to vanish. And it also makes the vanish look way more visual because you're vanishing something that's, that's just bigger. So go and raid your wallet or your closet or wherever you keep your money, find the biggest coin you can possibly find and then use that coin for the retention vanish. Then what I want you to do is take that coin and hold it your fingertips between your first finger, your middle finger and your thumb and then place it into the palm of your open other hand. Now just close your fingers around the coin, actually take the coin and just see how that feels. I know this is a bit weird and you're probably going, Oscar, I want to learn the vanish, but trust me, you need to do this beforehand because knowing how you'd actually take the coin will make it so much easier to learn the vanish when we get to that in stage two. So do this in front of the mirror, take the coin at your fingertips, put it into your other hand and take it and just see how this looks. And then once you've done that a few times, let's move on to step two. So step two is learning the slide. So what I'm gonna do now is break down exactly how you're gonna steal away that coin so that people still think it's in your other hand. So for part two, what I want you to do is hold the coin as you were before between your first finger, your middle finger and your thumb like this and then just place the coin into the palm of your open hand. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna, your hand's gonna come over and you're gonna extend your middle finger out and you're gonna pull back on the coin. And that's basically how this works from the exposed angle. But before we get to this point, we really need to learn how to pull the coin back into our hand. So forget the other hand for the moment. And what we're gonna do firstly is just practice holding the coin like this, then extend your middle finger from here to here and pull the coin backwards. And what you want to do is get to the coin to a point where it's resting on your middle finger like this. So you don't want it you know, down here or the coin will fall out. You really want the, your, the coin resting at, on the top of your middle finger. So just practice holding the coin between your first finger, middle finger and thumb. You extend your middle finger outwards and you pull back on the coin very slowly and you're dragging it along the bottom of your thumb. But if you removed your thumb, the coin is still balancing there. And this is important because it means you can palm it into your hand later on and you just have complete control over the coin when it's resting on your middle finger. So again, just to recap one more time, hold the coin like this, extend your middle finger out and then pull back on the coin and keep doing it until the coin is folded deep into your palm. And this is the part that's going to take the most amount of practice. You just literally need to sit there and do this over and over again. And once you get this down, the actual vanish itself is really easy. To begin with, it's going to be quite slow and hard to do, but you just need to literally sit there and just extend the middle finger, pull it back, and that's all the move really is. So you don't actually need to be super dexterous to do this. I mean, I'm not the most dexterous person in the world, yet I can do this with ease because I've just spent the time sitting down and pulling the coin back into my hand. At the end, I'm gonna give you a little practice routine so you can learn this move really quickly. So make sure you stay tuned until uh, that part of the video. But again, you hold the coin between your first finger, middle finger and thumb. You push your middle finger out, you pull back on the coin, and now it's in the palm of my hand. Once you've got this move down, you're then ready to go on to step three. So stage three is adding in your other hand. So now you're at a point where you've got the right size coin, you know how to take the coin normally, 
and you also know how to do the slight. So what you now need to do is put this all together and add in your final hand to make this vanish actually work. So to begin, you want to hold your free hand nice and open facing the spectators, and then with the coin at your fingertips, place it into the palm of your hand. Then what's gonna happen is your fingers are gonna come over and they're gonna close up around the coin. And as you can see here, as soon as your little finger makes contact with your first two fingers, what you're gonna do is the slights that you learned in step two. So what this will allow you to get is a really visual retention of the coin being in your hand, your fingers covering that coin, and then as soon as you perform the slight and steal that coin away, the spectators will still believe it's in this hand because the last image they saw was the coin very cleanly in your open palm. The most important thing here is you don't do the slight too early or the spectators will see you stealing it away. So the best way to know when to do the slight is to wait until your little finger is touching the backs of your first two fingers and that's the point at which you're gonna do the slight, steal away the coin and then hold this hand out just in front of your spectators in a very natural way. The hand with the coin then will just drop down naturally by your side and from here you can do whatever you want. You can make the coin vanish or you can continue going to a coin routine. It really doesn't matter because the spectator is gonna be convinced that the coin is in your empty hand. So when it comes to practicing the retention coin vanish, the one thing you don't wanna do is spend like three or four hours just sitting down trying to learn this move because A, that becomes boring and B, that's not the most effective way to learn this. Instead, here's how I recommend you actually practice this move. So just spend 20 minutes a day for the next four to five days practicing the, you know, firstly practicing the actual slight, making sure you can get the coin gone in this hand then applying it with the uh, the hand cover as well to make the whole trick actually work. And just spend 20 to 30 minutes a day, four or five days a week practicing this move, and you're gonna get this down really, really quickly. And the reason this is so effective is because it allows the body to have the time to develop the muscle memory to make this vanish actually work. And all this vanish is, is muscle memory in your fingertips. So it's better to spread this out over four or five days than just doing all that practice in one hit because your body just won't learn how to do the vanish. If you're looking to learn more amazing magic tricks that are just way too good to reveal on YouTube, then check out my course, Card Magic Pro. Inside, I basically just teach you all of the greatest magic tricks ever created, and I'll basically turn you into a wizard. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.